What's going on, everybody? This is the Indie Game Enthusiast. This is First 15. Today we're looking at Sable. I am super, super excited for this. It's coming out September 23rd uh, on PC. Um, as far as I know, that's it for now. I don't think there's any console uh, plans as of yet, although I'm not 100%. Um, links to the dev and the publisher and everything will be in the description. So let's get into it. Let's see if we like it from the first 15 minutes. Can we get a good feel? I love the art style of this. Um, another cool note, Japanese Breakfast does the uh, soundtrack for this, which is awesome. Built by two people as well, with uh, someone else consulting on the writing. All right. Cool. So, looking good so far. Oh, I had to move. Okay, there we go. All right, so timer started. 15 minutes of actual game time. Let's go. All right. Some Waz did a move. That makes sense. Oh, that's a slow pan with the, the mouse. Might have to change the sensitivity, but we'll leave it for now. Oh, this is really awesome. It's like I'm in a comic book. Or in uh, like an 80s, 90s Ghibli film. Oh. All right, there we go. Okay, space to jump. Ah, uh -huh, I beat you to it. All right. Cool. Climb the wall. I'm guessing the vines. Sweet. Okay, stamina. Climbing stamina. I don't know what it is about that, but uh, we love it in games now, I guess, do we? I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're going to crouch. All right. Let me know in the comments what you think of this game, if you're stoked for it as well, too. Oh, and if you're uh, new to the channel, maybe think about leaving the video a like. All right. This is wonderful. Oh, yeah. This is giving me so many good vibes. Uh, oh, my God. I'm just thinking of all the animes I watched growing up. I love this so far. Controls feel tight enough, too. All right. Does not appear there's fall damage, which is also quite cool. I like that for this. I mean, I'm in a movie. I want to, you know, or like an anime kind of movie. I want to feel like a badass. All right. See, there's some stamina, you know, so that it's not too, too easy. But uh, it's not, you know, overtly realistic. Okay. Ibex camp. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's check this out. I guess we gotta just head through. Oh, who's this? I ask why there's such an interest in beetles in the first place, only to regret the next two minutes. At least she's enthusiastic about something. Okay. Doesn't tell me a lot. Ah, okay, cool. Oh, cool, okay. Uh, I can feel JD smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can... Uh, is it JD or JD? I like JD better. JD smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth-bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. Okay. JD. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Good. Well, that was uh, good foresight. Um, I know. Uh, well... I'm not worried. All right. I tell her I'm not worried at all, and it's possibly the least convincing I've ever been. You can say that, my love. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Started what? Uh, remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then, I promised you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman, and how wonderful the wind, uh, wind felt through the fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward, and put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her, she can do whatever she wants. Jadi reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. Um, I don't know where to start. I don't even know what we're doing. 
Jadi's story warns me, uh, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Well, I can help with that. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made arrangements, uh, the arrangements for your bike, and Halal will share something. Well, let's just say as useful as it is fun. Hmm? I think I might suspect what Jadi's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. What if I choose the wrong path? I asked Jadi what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. Oh, okay, I kind of figured that, but... Uh, there are no wrong paths, Sable, or right ones. I'd be glad if you choose to stay with the Ixebi. Ixebi, I guess? Uh, but truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you're happy. Oh, so some kind of test or some kind of choice I have to make to stay with my tribe or not. Uh, whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't uh, try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? All right, she knows me. Now go speak with Halal. Uh, I'll be there to see you off. Okay, cool. Let's do it. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Sizzo, but you know how he is. Sizzo. Like it. Okay, I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my uh, my gliding. Gliding? Yeah, gliding, I guess. Uh, an artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on. It's nearly time. Quest updated, the ceremony, I need to ask, or, uh, yeah, I've got to talk to Halal and Driss. Okay, so Q, I can hold, ooh, that's slow. Okay. Oh, that's cool, I like that. This is not on screen all the time. Uh, it pointed in this direction, I was pretty sure. Oh, maybe up here. Ah, that looks promising. Oh, what an awesome view up here, too. Sweet. Oh, that looks wicked up there. Okay. Uh, let's talk to you. As I approach Halal, they, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Halal's verve and vigor, and on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. Halal's hand, uh, Halal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but, find, uh, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find softly electric or find it softly electric like static on a cloth. What is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but ask Halal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Halal that I feel... Uh, fuzziness. Then you're doing it right. What you feel is in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. <laughs> Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Halal claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Halal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jadi's words now and tell Halal I'll go and see Driss. Cool. All right. So now we've got to go. I guess there's no fall damage, so I'm not too worried. Fantastic. Uh, is Yep, yeah, perfect. Down here. So we've got to activate that gliding stone, but we've got to talk to Driss first. We're in the Ebex camp. Yes, good. We have not left. Though I told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. Sable, uh, hello. Uh, JD sent me to speak with you. Or JD. See, maybe now I'm calling her JD. I don't know, God. I'll have to make up my mind eventually. <laughs> uh, did she? What about? I tell him that it was about something special and then make a leading gesture, slowly trying to be perfectly cool and confidential. Uh, the writing's pretty charming. Uh, but I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spill out. I asked Driss if he might sort of possibly may ha be have a bike for me. Your bike. He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike. Yes, of course. Right. Yes, your bike. Uh, that was what I was meant to, that I prepared for you. Uh... Because today is your gliding, yes. 
Driss nods along with me. Yes, of course, right. Yes, yes, I have. Uh, I do have that. <laughs> My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you in a... Well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. Oh. A, tutor uh, a tutorial? Yes, exactly. A learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can own their bi own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. Oh boy, here we go. I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. All right, I'll give it a go. Really? I mean, yes, good. Be gentle, though. This sand cutter's older than Jedi. You treat her with respect. Now, ride that bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Okay, try not to. Okay, when you're not riding it, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. Oh, excellent. All right, well, it's not so bad. Ride the sand cutter. All right. There's the ring down there. Oh, uh, I cannot get over this art style. Man, this is just taking me right back to a place I like going to. All right. Oh, well, yeah, it's a little clunky. Oh, I just feel like I'm riding through an old 80s anime. Getting, like, Dragon Ball kind of vibes. Akira. All right. Well, that wasn't so bad. I'm enjoying this so much. I think I might do... Uh, we've got this first 15. We'll see. Maybe we'll do a full playthrough uh, once the game comes out. I think that would be awesome. All right. That was cool. Can we get off with the... Uh, there we go. Eek. <laughs> oh, I love the sound effect. Awesome. I return to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Okay. Sable, congratulations. How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire, even a little bit. Yeah, I hope not. I don't want to be. Uh, was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. <laughs> Driss, is this bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. Have you already been by Halal? Uh, oh, right. Am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of the sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. Wow, okay. And Halal's got something to show you, too. Help you out with more of that uh, mobility you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Driss very much for his help and his uh, bike, and I depart for Halal. Okay, slicing sands. We completed that. Um, not sure how to look at the quest log. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got to do that, and then Sarah... Oh, complete task for Halal Driss. So we've got to do the gliding stone at the altar. Okay, good, good. And doesn't want to... Oh, there we go. We're closing it. We'll have to come back later. Uh, so where is that? Ah, uh, let's go. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you are uh, interested in this game yourself, and if you would be into doing... Uh, or into seeing me do a uh, a full playthrough once it's out. Uh, we're almost, what, it's just, just over a week away? So, almost at the release date, and uh, I've been excited for this. I think, uh, I can't remember, was it back earlier this summer, there was like this uh, crazy demo event on Steam, and I originally had a quick look at it, but I, I didn't really get much time. And so I've re-downloaded the demo now, and I am loving it. <clears throat> Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Whispering stones. All right. We can sprint. We can do some climbing action. Oh, yeah. All right. So we got to get up there. Ah, vines. Oh, I can get up. Nice. Oh, okay, shoot a little bit too much maybe i would have made it all the way to the top let's just see seemed like i was just about to run out oh perfect we make it that's awesome man the climbing's not bad in this at all and it just feels right yeah like the the way that you grip this and everything it feels like it looks but uh i mean that as a compliment 
And that probably doesn't make any sense, but, uh... Okay, cool. Here we go. We're running in. Oh, man. I am just in love with this art style. I really wish... Oh, thank God for no fall damage. I really wish more games went with this kind of style. I find it so timeless. Like this game, if you go 10 years into the future and you come back and play it, it is going to look awesome still. Oh, this is just really, really, really cool. All right, well, that is it for the first 15. Um, yeah, so far, uh, I've just got all pros for this. It's uh, the art style, the controls, everything else. I think, personally, um, 15 minutes uh, is enough to get me hooked. I don't know about you, uh, but for myself, I'm already quite pumped for this game. So thanks for checking it out. Before we get to spoiler territory here, we are going to end the video. And yeah, thanks again for being here. CND Game Enthusiast. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Peace.